In this video, I want to introduce you to the Cayley Hamilton theorem. Now, the Cayley Hamilton theorem says that every square matrix uh, satisfies its own characteristic equation. Okay? So, what that means is that if P of lambda, now P of lambda, right, is your characteristic polynomial. If I put that equal to zero, then that's our characteristic equation. So that's the equation that we get in our lambdas. So it might be lambda cubed plus two lambda squared, etc. Okay, equals zero. And that's the equation where we get our eigenvalues from. Okay, so if that is the characteristic equation of uh, our matrix A, Okay, our square matrix A, then P of A is also equal to zero. Now, what does that mean in practice? Well, first of all, um, we're going to need a matrix A, right? So I'm going to do this via an example. I'm not going to be proving uh, the Kelly Hamilton theorem, okay? So uh, that's certainly beyond the scope of the course. So let's say we had a matrix A. So let's just use something basic. So we'll go with a two by two matrix. So let's go with uh, one, two, uh, three, four. Okay? So the characteristic equation for that would be that we've got the determinant one take away lambda, two, three, four take away lambda equals zero. Okay, so we're going to multiply that out. 1 take away lambda times 4 take away lambda. Take away 2 times 3, so 6 equals 0. So we're going to get lambda squared. We're going to get minus 4 lambda and minus lambda, so minus 5 lambda. We're going to get 1 times 4, so 4. Take away 6 is minus 2 equals 0. Okay, that is that. Okay, this is a polynomial uh, of, well, a function of lambda. Okay is equal to zero. That's our characteristic equation. Now what I'm saying then is that by the Kelly Hamilton theorem it is the case that a squared take away 5a take away 2 times, well not 2, right, 2 times the identity is going to be equal to zero because you can't, you can't have a matrix take away um, a scalar, okay, that's nonsensical. So what we want to show is that this is the case, right? So, a squared is 1, 2, 3, 4, times 1, 2, 3, 4. So we can get 1 times 1 and 2 times 3, so 7. We're going to get 2 and 8, so 10. We're going to get 3 and 12, so 15. We're going to get 6 and 16, so 22, OK? So the left-hand side. Uh, is a squared, so 7, 10, 15, 22. Take away 5 lots of a. So take away 5 lots of 1, 2, 3, 4. Take away 2 lots of the identity. So take away 2, 0, 0, 2. So we've got 7, 10, 15, 22. Take away 5, 10, 15, 20. Take away 2, 0, 0, 2. So we've got 7, take away 5, take away 2. We've got 10, take away 10, take away 0. 15, take away 15, take away 0. And 22, take away 20, take away 2. Which, of course, is 0, 0, 0. So really, I should write that, shouldn't I? OK. Um, yeah. OK, to represent the 0 matrix. So. This is the Cayley Hamilton theorem. Um, and what we're going to see in the next video is that actually you can utilize this theorem in order to find the inverse of a matrix uh, fairly easily.